This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers Discussion here on the channel today. Well, I'd be a damn fool if I wasn't discussing the news of the day that we... Oh, guys, I am so late to this. This ain't even funny. Of course, work will always be priority number one, I hope. But here's the thing. We got news. I logged on, got working away this morning i'm like all right well we better check sportsnet.ca and bang 35 minutes ago i had missed i had missed the news on craig mctavish being named the new head coach of locomotive over there in the khl and this comes with what is sure to be many many ramifications for the edmonton oilers this off season obviously there's been a lot played up about this and there's been a lot of kind of stuff come out about this move since that time, whatever 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time will say when I found that article because obviously you get details on the move and you kind of get overviews of how things have happened since then. And for this move, let's go to the sportsnet.ca article I just wrote or read, wrote, I wish. Uh, let's see, search on hold as Holland reviews mac t exit that's the one we're looking for ladies and gentlemen and essentially what everyone's playing up here is the fact that mctavish had this in the uh in the back pocket for a couple of days before ken holland came down to bakersfield to do the whole thing and get through going through there and everyone's kind of playing up this whole role that craig mctavish is the mastermind behind what was such a successful Bakersfield Condors team to what extent I believe that oh I will leave that out of the conversation but essentially then Craig McTavish started moving along and informing Ken Holland that he would be going to locomotive over there in the KHL to take the job for two years as coach so that's that's the move right the bigger picture here and of course I'm not Sportsnet, I'm not global, I'm not going to sit here and preach the news to you. I'm going to preach kind of what the fan mentality around a guy that we've known for years in Edmonton. Guys, too many years. The old boys club mantra in Edmonton when it comes to Craig McTavish and Kevin Lowe. This is obviously to that a big blow. Now the thing here is, to say this wasn't expected, well that would be dumb because we knew... Coming in, the Oilers were going to hire a general manager who was going to change the situation in the front office. Yes, Lowe is in another realm of Oilers land, maybe harder to move out than per se McTavish was. But McTavish, the thing that got played up that I've been mentioning all along right to this point, is the fact that McTavish, like he did years ago, kind of left on his own accord and this is a good sign because this is a sign no not that oh my god ken holland is the man to get the job done ah, that's that's not my overarching theme this is a good sign that everybody in the oilers front office knows the times are a changing that's what this is a sign of that's what this does so good this is what really is a benefit to Oilers fans. This is your first positive sign that the Oilers are going to be something different next season. This is the sign that Ken Holland was the right guy, the right message. Obviously, anybody under Daryl Cates who gets hired by Daryl Cates, who gets introduced by Daryl Cates, Anything you attach Daryl Cates to is going to have negative con connotation from the start. That's just the way it goes. Add in the Bob Nicholson factor too and maybe the Hockey Canada Old Boys Club mantra that kind of started. You get a clouded pot of spaghetti. But the thing you get here as well, as it all boils down and you really see what it's made of, guess what? It looks better now that we have move number one, it looks better by the day. This is just the start. And as the Sportsnet article points out, this is what I really wanted to get to. This is the meat and potatoes because they discuss the pro scouting and stuff. And this is where it gets to is that as much as the coaching search is a priority, Ken Holland 
number one priority as Edmonton Oilers general manager right now is to reset and change the front office. Obviously, yeah, Ken Hitchcock not back as coach, but that's a guy who wants to be around this team, a guy you can use. And if you're Ken Holland and you say the coaching gig isn't a big priority right now, more so dismantling this whole Oilers fan distrust of the front office is, guess what, right there, that's the name not once is mentioned in that article by Sportsnet, Ken Hitchcock. And what what can you use old Ken Hitchcock to do in this coaching search when your priority as general manager is to A, change the front office, B, get the fans to trust management for the first time in a lot of years, and then C, actually be able to use the front office to build a team that can win. In that order, if you do it as Ken Holland, not once in the first three things is the coaching search. However, the thing you have in your back pocket, the secret weapon, is the third winningest coach in NHL history to potentially select your new head coach for you before you, like obviously maybe five or six candidates, and then really whittle it down to the last two or three. That's how Ken Holland can effectively keep this whole Title wave that will come post Craig McTavish exit going. And this is just step one. This is all step one of Ken Holland's master plan, the retool for the 1920 season. I've said it all along. Guys, I have been right hardcore on the word retool. The Oilers do not need a rebuild. The Oilers do not need a reconstruct anything other than a retool, and it's very easy. Youth, experience, leadership, and bad contracts out of town. You do those things, you've got it going right. Obviously, yes, we've covered the youth several times in the past few weeks. You cover leadership, that's a coaching thing. That's a a player who's making money, but actually produces, not named McDavid, Dreisaitl, or of course, Nugent Hopkins. Obviously, the guy you're supposed to look at to do that is Milan Lucic. We all know that ain't what we're looking at him for. He's looked at as a bad contract, and that's another thing. Ship him out, but more more complicated, easier said than done, sure. But right there, you, you, you start looking at how big of a job Ken Holland has to retool this Edmonton Oilers team before training camp and it is a scary god dang thing to look at. I mean if I was general manager I'd be crapping my pants trying to figure out how do you get the fans to trust the team? How do you sell tickets? How do you how do you get a good team? How do you, how do you do anything Oilers Oilers business related in this short a term while trying to do it right? Well, we add step 1. Step 1 was dismantling a little bit of that distrust. And the big thing there is Craig McTavish going overseas to the KHL to coach Locomotive, who you guys know the story with Locomotive, the plane crash, all that. Very, very sad times back then. Now rebuilding into a, well, good team. But Craig McTavish, goodbye, so long. And this is kind of exile island for Edmonton Oilers fans because I'll throw a name at you. I'll throw a good name at you here, and I'll see if you remember it. Anton Lander. Yeah! There you go. There's a name for you. That's a connection back to HC Locomotive. So there you go. But overall, where does this leave the Oilers and Ken Holland in his job to do what needs to be done? It leaves them in a very, very good spot. Half or a third, depending on how you look at the old boys club, is dismantled. Cooked. Done. Over. Right there. Now you've got one in the business side. Housen, Gretzky, whoever you look at as the other old boys club kind of guy. Eh, mm, more manageable. And now this 
opens up so many more possibilities as well for what becomes Ken Holland's front office in the Edmonton Oilers organization. Guys, a positive step number one under Ken Holland as GM. Step one of many, many, many to come. I'm very impressed. Now, yes, okay, maybe it's not Ken Holland booting McTavish out the door, but the message was there that the times are a changing in Edmonton, and that's obviously why Craig McTavish accepted this job and got out of town before he was told to leave. So guys, I'm Tyson, this is Stolen TV. A very positive day on the Oilers news front. I am up on out of here.